Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today. Um, obviously no wrestler wicked in darts. This weekend it's another big competition coming up. The only competition with the uh, PDC that is double in, double out. Now this is where you will possibly see a few shots and also heading into the World Championships which is like December. But I'm just going to give you the few um, the formats. So well, the first round is best of three sets. Now for you who don't know what sets are, basically it's the first of three legs wins a set and it's the first to three. Round two is the best of five, quarter finals five, semi final seven, finals nine. So you know there's a lot to a lot of sets to get. Um, especially if you especially in this uh, first round, you will possibly see a top star being knocked out because of that double in. Uh, not a lot of players like it, but it's part of the game. Um, but anyway, I'm going to give you more predictions for this first round games, um, and then obviously lead on to round two. There'll be another uh, episode, and I'll recap the first round. So the first game is Jeffrey De Swan versus Kim Hybrex. Now Kim Hybrex is a high 180 hitter. That is no secret. But Jeffrey uh, De Swan can also do the same um, as well. But I'm going to give this game to Kim Hybrex. I just think it's going to be a bit too much for Jeffrey De Swan over a short format. It, to beat Kim Hybrex, you're going to have to hit the, the ball first. Uh, next game is one Mina Cap. Sorry if I mispronounced your name. Uh, versus Joe Cullet. Now, Ron has done a few on the European tour. Um, but is he ready for the big stage and the TV cameras? It'd be interested to see. But I'm going to stick my neck out on the line for this game. I'm going to give it to Joe Cullet. I think Joe Cullet is just going to be able to cut it in when he needs to to finish the, finish the game off. Uh, the third game is Steve, uh, Darren Webster versus Stephen Bunting. Now, it's no... Um, no secret Stephen Munton has gone off the rail a bit. He he weren't up there like he used to be. Whereas Darren Ripstar seems to be carrying on from that. Um, so, you know, for that game, I'll give it to Darren Ripstar. Now the next game is Wappy Ricky Evans against Raymond Van Barnabout. Now, as I just said, Ricky Evans is a fast player. He's a good player as well. Going up against Barney. Now this is where the stage wouldn't really work because Ricky Evans does do a lot on the European tour. Um, but as well as Barney does, he does also a lot of the major TV events. So with this one, I'm gonna go with RVB, Raymond Van Barbell. Just because I think he's gonna slightly outscore Ricky Evans, um, but hey, I could be wrong about that one. That's going to be an interesting game. Um, the next game is Dave Chisnell against Matt Top. Now, Dave Chisnell is just had the disappointing tournament um, of the Champions League of Darts, um, whereas Matt Top is a German that likes to perform off and on the hockey um, you know he's very good on the floor and he's also good up on the stage whereas Dave Chisdall he's going through a dippy spell maybe just at the wrong time in this season so with that one I'm gonna go with a Matt Top win now the next game is the, it's the champion of this competition um, Dale Gurney, he goes up against George, uh, John Henderson. Now, Dale Gurney just came off the Champions League of Darts. Didn't have a bad run in that, but none of the best. 
I do think John Henderson might just pinch this match. I think they're travelling from Brighton to Ireland in a space of a couple of days. Um, you know, it would be an interesting to see. I, as I said, I'd like, to see, I'd like to see a few upsets in this and I think that could be one of them. Um, the next game is MVG versus Steve Lennon. So, yeah, again, so I've got a smash name. Um, I'll get an MVG win playing down. Uh, the next game, the Champions League of Darts champion, Gary Anderson against Johnny Clayton. So, now, yet again, no disrespect to Johnny Clayton, but I'm going to go for Gary Anderson win. Um, it's very interesting with the Champions League of Darts to see he's back playing up and he still managed to come away with the title. Great work, Gary Anderson. Um, so that's the afternoon session done. Uh, it'd be interesting to see how many I do get right in that. But anyway, if you are going to Ireland or you are travelling to go and watch this, I hope you have a safe journey. Uh, the, now the evening session is uh, Jermaine Wanyama, as uh, yet gets off from this match name, um, against Mervyn King. Now, uh, Jermaine, I think he will pinch this game. Um, Mervyn King, yeah, he ain't up there like he used to be. There's so many players that have just dropped, um, you know, ever since Taylor's retired. Uh, but yeah, again, I'm expecting another interesting game. Uh, but as I said, I'll give it to Jermaine. Uh, the next game is Josh Payne versus Ian Diamond White. Uh, now, Josh, Josh Payne, very good young dark player um, against Ian White, who's a very experienced player up on the stage. But I can't use that for Josh because Josh has played up on stage as well. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go against, possibly against the odds in this one. And I'm going to go with a Josh Payne win. Now the next game is Danny Knoppet. Yeah, again, sorry for mispronounced name. You will hear that quite a few times from me. Um, uh, against Gerwin Price. Now Danny has just picked up form at the right time in stages. Whereas yet again, Gerwin Price, he seems to get up there, but then he seems to calm back down a bit so you know it's it's very iffy um but for that one i'm gonna go with a danny win uh i just think that double in will cause a uh, going for some problems um the next game is peter white versus steve west um now obviously with peter white yeah, again, just played the Champions League of Darts uh, down here. Now he's got to get to Ireland to plan this. Um, yeah, again, change his darts around. I can't see what he's looking for. You can never look for perfection in darts. I don't think, anyway. Sorry. Um, but it'd be interesting to see if he changes darts again for this competition or stick with the ones that he's played with. But with that one, I'm going with the odds, and I'm going with a Peter White um, win. Uh, now the next one is Rob Cross versus Steve Beaton. A very lively Steve Beaton, and he, you know, his walk on music and everything else that goes with it. Uh, very nice character, a very nice guy, I've met him personally. Um, I remember when I was about seven and I walked up to him at a darts event. I tapped him on the shoulder so I can have a picture and your autograph. Uh, very nice he was and he gave it to me. Um, against Rob Cross, who's obviously basically not far from where I live. He lives in Hastings, I live in Brighton. Still basically the same part of Sussex. Um, so un unfortunately I'm going to have to go with the homeboy of this one. Rob Cross. Now, Mentor Sullivage versus James Wade. Um, now, yet again, James Wade just slightly came off the ball. Uh, Sullivage was very unlucky in the 
Champions League of Darts. Um, now, if I could say anything about James Wade is that he can pick up very surprisingly, but then yet again he can drop off as well. Um, but with that one, I'm just going to go Salovich because I know he likes to lower double, so he can go double seven, double fourteen. Whereas one player, you know, just stays with the one double. Salovich has got the uh, management to switch when he wants. Um, so the next game is yet again Simon Wetlock versus James Wilson. Um, now, no, uh, Champions League of Darts, which happened this weekend. Uh, they played the wrong walk on music to Simon Whitlock. They pl actually played Peter White's walk on music instead of Simon Whitlock's walk on music. Very funny, but I thought it's a bit strange. How can you mix up a player's music, especially at this high standard? I never know. Um, but yet again, I'm gonna I'm gonna give Simon Whitlock the benefit of the doubt on this one. Uh, obviously, he's going to want to pick his game back up for the World Championships, and um, you know, so that's why I'm giving Simon Whitlock the benefit of the doubt for this game. Uh, the last game of the first round, and it's the evening session, so you're possibly saying about half 10, 11 o'clock, around about that time, might be earlier, depends how all the other games go. It's Michael Smith versus Adrian Lewis. Now, Adrian Lewis has gone off the ball, that's no secret. Whereas Michael Smith has literally, you know, kept, kept trying to go in. Um, I'm not sure how far he is out the top eight. Obviously, he's at the top 32. Um, as I've said, it's leading up to the World Championship, so people are going to, you know, start getting in there, um, start finding their form. Um, but I'm going to call this game an Adrian Lewis win. Now, just give me a minute to explain. He He's already said he wants to get back on form. Um, he wants to get back in for the Premier League. He wants to get back all the major competitions. He wants to get back in for. This is where he needs to start, uh, especially for next year. Um, I know there's a lot of uh, behind the closed doors competitions going on. Um, but I think if Adrian Lewis that has a bit of a run in this competition and set him up for the rest of the calendar year. Well, anyway, guys, that's my first round predictions. I explained the format. Uh, if you have any questions, put it down in the comments below. But anyway, guys, as I've just said, I'm going to bring this video to an end. Guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Shout out.